All right, T knocks off York 10 6 in a game with playoff type intensity, even though it's the month of March with York coach Brandon Childs. You guys jumped out 3 1 uh, in this contest, but gradually over the last three quarters, what was the issue offensively where your team couldn't keep pace after that good first quarter? Yeah, we just got out ground balled, so we didn't have the ball a lot. There was like a four minute span in the second quarter where we field cleared it, so we played defense three consecutive times. and. They got a couple goals off of it, which got them going, you know, and the plan was to not give them any transition, don't give them anything unsettled. And on those failed clears, they got some unsettled ones, which I think got them in their rhythm a little bit. But we, um, so we didn't have the ball then and those failed clears. And if you're not winning ground balls and then you fail cleared on top of it, those things compound pretty good. And, and so I think the issue offensively was that we just didn't have the ball as much as we're accustomed to having because typically we don't get out ground ball 39 right. to 17. I was going to say, leading me to my next question, if that's going to happen, good to have that happen now in March from a coaching point standpoint, something that you and your staff can reiterate to your team that that's the type of thing that can happen if you're not focused? Yeah, you know, and, and I don't think the ground balls were a lack of effort. I, I think it's a, I mean, it's a really skilled team that right. we played, and they're great at picking up the ball off the ground. And I think, if anything, it's a takeaway that we got to practice it more, mm -hmm. you know, and I think we've relied on a lot of toughness to get us ground balls. And I don't think it was lack of toughness and desire tonight. I think it was literally the skill of picking something up pretty quick off the ground. And, and it, you know, we'll definitely be working on ground balls <laughs> in, the, in the future, that's for sure. Great challenge of this event now is really not a whole lot of way to prepare for tomorrow. What is the challenge to get ready to come back and play another good opponent tomorrow? Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it's so much fun. And, and we spent a lot of our time focused on the first game as if, like, you weren't guaranteed the second game because come playoff times, you sure. know, you're not guaranteed that second game. And so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get to work, you know, and, and, and try to put together the best game plan possible. But that's what's fun about it. I feel like the second game is really up to the boys in the field, you know, and, and um, maybe having taken a loss today, you know, if we needed any extra motivation, maybe we got it. For all of you that come here, and a lot of you have come here multiple times, you all are very uh, willing participants in such a great event. What does this event do for your club in terms of kind of it, we're starting to get closer to the midway point here where you can get a real evaluation of your team against what could be the teams you see eventually down the road in April and May? Right. Well, I think the one thing you walk away with is just confidence. You know, I think um, almost regardless of how you play, because now you've seen some of the best, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, um, and so when you leave here, um, you, you, you've got some great films to dig into, you know, whether you win or lose, um, you're, you're vulnerable at an event like this with so many great teams. And so there's a lot of things that you can get through and film and then get it to your guys and really teach them, you know. And, and so I think you leave here with some confidence of, man, we, you know, we did some things pretty well and here's what we did well. And, you know, here's a couple things we didn't do well that if we can, if we can improve on guys, then, you know, and then, then we can be playing in May. And if we don't focus and improve on those things, then we won't be playing in May, you know. And so... Um, I'm stealing this from another coach, but he always kind of refers to this event as like midterms, you know, right. for your team. And, and I kind of like that because I think that's what happens here, you know. And so uh, I'm excited about the challenge tomorrow. And, um, and I don't know, after you lose one, you just want to play again. And the, the beauty of this event is we get to do it. All right, appreciate the time. Best of luck tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. All right, Brandon Childs from York joining us here as RIT wins game four of five on this Friday by a score of 10-6.